Well, after chasing ghosts for most of the morning, whew, Aubrey called us in. He said that he briefly saw a leopard moving through the drainage line. And here sits what looks like young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road uh, south, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road uh, south, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road uh, south, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so uh, south, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so uh, south, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so uh, south, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so, uh, South, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so, uh, South, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so, uh, South, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so, uh, South, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so, uh, South, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so, uh, South, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. We're sitting on Inyala Road so, uh, South, and he's all the way on the other side of the drainage line now. This is the gap that we're young Tumba. But it is very difficult to see. We're quite far away. Now we're all just going to have to work as a team to try and keep our eyes on him because, sure, we're lucky. Let me tell you how lucky we are with the fact that we've got a camera and we're able to zoom in. Because if I had guests on my car, it would be a very, very difficult sighting to try and show you. And it's almost quite frustrating because there's only small little gaps that you can see. So, you know, these vehicles have got three rows. Sometimes the front row can't see or the back row can't see. And it's just the middle row that can see. And it can be quite difficult to try and manage something like this. But it's one thing that you have to understand out here is that this is nature. This is wild. These animals are not in a zoo. They are not tame. They hunt for themselves and they can go wherever they want. And if they don't want to be seen... Let me tell you, a leopard will disappear very, very quickly. Now, Carol, you say that um, you love spot, uh, you love watching leopards, and you also agree that he has spotted something. I did hear some Franklin, so it could be something like a little crested Franklin. Just trying to see, I can hear green woodhoopers in the far distance. I don't think that's what he's going after. Maybe a squirrel, or perhaps he's found the hidey hole of a scrub here. Now that would be a sufficient meal for him, a nice snack. He is a growing boy. Any of you who have uh, had sons, you know when they go through that teenage phase what a nightmare it is. You go shopping, you fill the fridge up, you turn your back for two seconds and it's completely emptied. You go to their room and you just find, well, the remains, the bowls, the plates, the empty packets and all those types of things. Basically the stage of uh, Tumba's life right now. I'm actually not sure exactly what date he was born on. Um, if any of you know, because I'm sure there'll be a whole lot of you know, please hashtag Safari Live with the, with, um, the month. I can't remember which month he was born and I know the royal cubs uh, Hosanna and Shongila were February so he must be close on a year now I don't think he's quite a year I'm trying to remember I haven't seen Tumba in such a long time I think this is actually only my second sighting of Tumba now which is still fantastic he is third sighting I like this is my third sighting because we had that amazing interaction with Shongile and Tumba where Tumba paid Shongile absolutely no attention whatsoever but he's doing pretty well um, and I must tell you, from the spot that I'm sitting, ah, so he is a year. This is his his year month. So apparently he was born in July, uh, 2016. So 
we can't obviously get the exact date it's quite difficult so he is a year now well that's good so he'll be honing in on his hunting skills but what I was trying to say to you is that from where we are I can't see him at all not even one inch of him I'm having to look on my monitor now so Craig is going to have to be my eyes and and, and hopefully when he does move it's a nice thing is that we can work as a team here Obviously we do all the time, but Craig's sitting so much higher up, he's able to see over the tops of some of these trees, which helps us out quite a bit. I would just like to know what he has actually spotted. But I don't think we're going to do very much off-roading down in here. This is where accidents can happen. In drainage lines, you can quite easily roll vehicles. And, well, we could get stuck on many trees, and we all know how the trees like to get stuck underneath my car. I still want to see what's attached to the front of the car, <laughs> what branch I've managed to drag out with me. We did give it a bash and then we gave up. We just said, no, let's see if we can come and find him from the other side of the road. But look at him, how careful he's being, making sure he doesn't stand on too many leaves. See that? How he's, even, he's not even looking where he's putting his feet. He's just sort of feeling. Because if he takes his eyes off of that prey, if that thing moves... We'll completely lose it now. Now we don't have him anymore. We're going to try and find him again. Let's find the next gap. Is he, is he coming here? Or is he still quite far up? Can you see him? Have you got him? Is he coming towards the drainage? Okay, I think if we take, if we, oh, there he is. Yep. He's moving quite quickly now. Now, Alex, you were wondering what is the main difference? There he goes. We're gonna, I'm just gonna keep the car on and we're gonna keep moving. Sorry, you were wondering what is the difference between, oh, he's seen in Yala. Here we go. There's a Yala right here. That's what he's after. We're gonna stay here. Sorry, I was just trying to get Mike's attention. I thought he was going to go off-road there. So then y'all don't know that he's there. This will be interesting. Sorry, Alex, I've completely um, started talking about what's going on. But this is what happens when you're alive. It's obviously when you spot things like this, you need to act on it straight away. Now, he's not too far away, so we'll get back to your question, Alex. He must be about 50 meters. But for a leopard, that's too far away. He needs to get much closer. Ideally... And this is, a, I suppose we can chat about your question then, Alex. What is the main difference between cheetah and leopards? Well, one of them is hunting techniques. Now, I can't see Hosanna yet. But it's keeping, um, I'm going to watch this gap down here. And I think that's probably going to be the gap that he moves into next. But then Yala are looking the wrong way. So cheetah chase their prey. They will build up speed. They can reach 120 kilometers an hour, and you can imagine, in order for them to do that, they need to be able to run quite fast, so they build up that momentum and eventually will run their prey down and, and tackling them with an ankle tap to knock them to the floor. Whereas leopards don't do that at all. Leopards will use these thicketed areas. They don't run nearly as quick as a cheetah does, but they've got a very good acceleration speed, so their charging speed is 24 meters per second. Now, if a leopard can get within 20 or 30 meters of its prey perfect absolutely perfect if they can get any closer even better and they'll normally do a big leap and pounce right down on top of their their prey now Hos not Hosanna this is not Hosanna this is Tumba Tumba's got a very good chance here even though he's young, young and experienced he's got a lot of elements on his side the Inyala firstly are looking in the completely opposite direction and it's windy now you can see, look how the leaves are moving. That's creating a lot of noise. So he will be able to move a little bit quicker than he normally would on a very still day because even just the slightest crunching of leaves underneath his foot would give away his presence. And that's what he doesn't want. Now, it's not the greatest views, of course, but this is it. You don't want to go off-roading in a sighting like this, unfortunately, because you will ruin the chance of this uh, leopard hunting. So it's important that we all stick up on the roads. We make sure that we don't move the cars around too much now because you'll be getting closer and closer. But again, something like this could take forever. Even though he's not too far away from the Nyala, we can't see him anymore. I can only imagine he's getting edging closer. 
he could still take a f couple of hours. Now, M. Riedel, you're wondering if a leopard would... Sorry, I'm just watching down here. I don't want to take my eyes off in case I missed action. If a leopard would, of course, uh, suckle a youngster of a year, uh, no, uh, a tumba shouldn't be suckling anymore. Normally it's about six, seven months, sometimes a little bit later before they get weaned. But he'll be eating solids now. Mom's doing, still doing a lot of the hard work and taking down the prey. And then once she makes the kill, she'll try and stash it in a tree and then she'll go back and, and fetch tumba or in the cases of the leopards, they'll go fetch their young. Um, so we know that uh, Tandy was down near the dam. She's obviously doing but It's a good there's always lots of Nyala, lots of Impala, Kudu, Bushbuck hanging around there. And I find that the antelope around the lodge become completely blasé because they're hearing human talking all the time, you know, people doing construction, and they used to loud noises that would maybe give them a fright normally. Let's go look at those Nyala again. I just want to see if, if their reaction has changed. They have, still haven't seen anything, and I still can't see Tamba.